Container, the International Folk Art Festival is coming to Seattle in 2018. That's our plan, yes. All right. What is the International Folk Art Festival? The International Folk Art Festival started 13 years ago in Santa Fe, and what it does is it aims to bring global artisans to the United States to give them access to the U.S. markets, as well as sustainable income and helping to preserve cultural traditions that have lasted for generations and centuries. Where do these artists come from? They come from 90 different countries. 90? 90. 90. Not all at once, but they have been represented. What kind of art are they likely to bring? They are likely to bring um, textiles, jewelry, painting, ceramics, metalwork, carpets, um, a full range of, of items. How do you find them? Some of them have been found through people who have traveled and make recommendations. Usually when an artist is successful, say in India or Uzbekistan, the word gets around and so they want to find out and they apply. And each year they have over four to 500 applications for maybe 175 spaces at the market. Really? So what's in it for the artist? What's in it for the artist is incredible training about how to work an American market how to present your goods, and to have access to competitively priced great income that will support your community and sustainable development over the long term. In so many countries that I'm sure that you deal with, uh, women don't have the same rights as men. Are women art artisans uh, able to come? I would say that the majority of artisans are women. Now, not all of them are able to travel because of some of those issues that you just managed. Yes, the majority are women. And one of the things that we're very aware of in the follow-up work that we do is the income that these women take back to their villages has a very different impact in terms of improving things for children, for health care, for education. I understand you're making a movie as well? Yes. Well, there is a movie called The Silkies of Madagascar. It's being um, introduced into a number of um, international film festivals, and it tells the story of how the Silkies of Madagascar, through a Peace Corps volunteer, resurrected a centuries-old practice and now has grown tremendously because they had access to the Santa Fe market to sell their goods. Wow. We're going to run a clip of that movie, you know, inside this interview, but i got to get asked this question first. Who are some of your partners in this venture? Because that's what this conference is all about, alliances. Right, right. Right now we are looking for local partners. We're looking for local partners in Seattle. Yes. So, okay, Seattle, you got to find those. We're looking for local partners to help us sort of build the foundations so that we have a, a local structure to pull something like this off. Our goal would be to have maybe 40 to 60 different artisans come. All right, so when are we going to find out more information, or how can we find out more information about this so that we're ready? We're ready. So you can go to the International Folk Art Alliance, folkartalliance.org, to find more information or to contact me, Dana Davies, um, and we we'll get that information. We'll, we'll get the contact uh, information up on the screen. Wonderful. Well, well, Dana, thank you very much, and good luck with the Folk Art Festival. Thank you very much. Silk weaving originated with our ancestors. It's what sustains us. I'm a grandmother with diabetes. Without silk work, I wouldn't even be here. <laughs>